From the most ferocious dinosaur of all time to the legendary whale-eating leviathan, here are 10 sea monsters scarier than the megalodon. Number 10. Liopleurodon One of the most terrifying monsters from the Jurassic period was the Liopleurodon. But exactly how terrifying this monster really was is under debate. Its size has been greatly exaggerated and greatly contested between experts. The dinosaur was first featured in a BBC programme titled Walking with Dinosaurs, which first aired back in 1999. In the programme, it was grossly exaggerated as being over 80 feet long. While some scientists do concede that it could be upwards of 50 feet, a more accurate representation would place this sea beast at being around 30 feet. The Liopleurodon was a type of marine reptile known as a pliosaur. It would have had a very short neck, an elongated head, and super long flippers. Basically, it looked kind of like a torpedo with flippers. There were many different types of pliosaurs in the Jurassic period, and they were distributed all over the world, just like modern sharks. And yes, the Liopleurodon was an apex predator. Part of this was because it was a super fast swimmer, again like modern sharks. Imagine a shark mixed with a lizard and a T-Rex. This was kind of what a Liopleurodon looked like. Number 9. Bacillosaurus The first thing you need to know about the Bacillosaurus is that it was not properly named. When this ancient creature was first discovered, the researchers believed it was a marine reptile. And so, they named it Bacillosaurus, which translates to King Lizard. However, after further review, it turned out that the undersea monster was actually a mammalian. There was a proposed name change. Researchers wanted to name it Zooglodon, which would translate to yolk teeth. However, because the name was already registered, it could not be changed. In any case, you probably want to hear about how ferocious this beast really was. The average size of the Bacillosaurus was about 60 feet in length, that's a lot bigger than any modern day shark. It was one of the earliest whales that ever swam in the ocean, even though it was descended from terrestrial mammals. This is one of the only ancient animals that gives us a direct glimpse into the way it evolved. Its front flippers still had elbow joints at the time of its extinction. This is something that is only glimpsed today in seals. This means its flippers would have at one point been legs. Just like fish can evolve out of the sea, land animals can evolve into the ocean. It's believed that this dinosaur primarily ate smaller whales and big fish. Because of its massive size, it wasn't often eaten as prey. There wasn't much that could challenge it. Number 8. The Sea Scorpion This one should probably be number one on the list. I can't think of anything more terrifying than a sea scorpion the size of an adult human. That's right, somewhere around 460 million years ago, there was a giant sea scorpion swimming around in the waters that covered present-day Iowa. According to Life Science, the giant scorpions likely fed on squishy, eel-like creatures. They weren't really scorpions, but they sure looked like it. The prehistoric sea scorpions were more closely related to modern spiders and horseshoe crabs. But that doesn't make them any less unnerving. Just imagine something half lobster, quarter spider and quarter crab grabbing you by the legs while you're trying to go for a swim. The approximate size of the sea scorpions was somewhere around 5.6 feet long. If nothing else, it was definitely a strange animal. It had special rear legs that worked as paddles, and it had a second and third pair of limbs which were used for grabbing prey. Then, it also had three additional pairs of limbs in the back which were used for scrambling across the ocean floor. Basically, it could swim using paddles, run using legs, and pinch you with its long front arms. The sea scorpion fossils were discovered at the bottom of a meteorite crater, a massive scar on the planet that would have formed about 470 million years ago during a meteor event. There were over 150 fossil fragments discovered at this site, including the man-sized sea scorpions. And now for number 7. But first, remember to let me know which creature you think is the scariest in the comments below, and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more videos like these. Number 7. Mauisaurus The Mauisaurus is a type of plesiosaur that lived around 77 million years ago in the late Cretaceous period. Its main home would have been around what is now New Zealand. In its day, it was the largest plesiosaur in the world, and perhaps the biggest marine reptile in the waters around New Zealand. There have been lots of specimens uncovered, and one thing the Mauisaurus is well known for is its incredibly long neck. It's like an underwater giraffe. It was about 26 feet long, had a slender body, and was able to move smoothly through the water using its two sets of giant flippers. Researchers also believe the Mauisaurus, which was a hungry carnivore with sharp teeth for ripping apart fish and squid, could have probably ventured onto the shore for brief amounts of time. All the remains of the Mauisaurus have been found near the South Island of New Zealand, near the city of Canterbury. 
If you need proof of how vicious this prehistoric sea monster was, look no further than the Marisaurus fossil that was found in the middle of a battle with a Mosasaur, another terrifying predator from the Cretaceous period. The name Marisaurus comes from the Maori demigod Mao, who according to the legend pulled New Zealand out of the water by using a giant fishing hook. Number 6. Chronosaurus the Chronosaurus was another plesiosaur from the Cretaceous period, just like the Marisaurus. Except the Chronosaurus was bigger, meaner, and far more terrifying. It lived in the same waters as the Marisaurus, but a few million years earlier. It grew to be about 40 feet in length, with a skull alone that was over 12 feet long. Imagine a creature with a skull over twice your own height. It could literally open its mouth and swallow you whole. It lived from about 250 million years ago to 80 million years ago, and by the end of its reign had spread throughout quite a bit of the ocean. How did this ferocious marine reptile get its name? It comes from the Greek titan Kronos, so Chronosaurus. It was discovered in 1899, but was not fully understood until just recently. It wasn't until an almost complete Chronosaurus skeleton was discovered in Colombia that experts really began piecing together the puzzle of this extraordinary animal's life. The Chronosaurus had a primary diet of turtles and other plesiosaurs. Because of its ridiculously large size, it was kind of the boss of the ocean in its day. There is some evidence that suggests giant squids could have lived in the same area as Chronosaurus and it could have eaten them as snacks, but there is no direct evidence. Still, it's pretty impressive if the Chronosaurus could have taken down giant squids. Number 5. Dunkleosteus It's time to meet the giant armoured placoderm, known as the Dunkleosteus. The name means dunkless bone, which is a mix of the paleontologist's name who described the fossils, David Dunkel, and the Greek word for bone. This prehistoric monster may not be as large or ferocious as the Megalodon, but it's definitely just as terrifying. It lived in the late Devonian period, around 382 million years ago, and was distributed largely throughout North America, Europe, and Morocco. The most famous specimens came from northern Ohio. What makes the Dunkleosteus so terrifying? It's all in the jaws. The Dunkleosteus was completely toothless, but it had armoured jaw plates that were even better than teeth. It was like having extremely sharp gums, like two perfectly formed chopping blades. In fact, it's kind of like the Dunkleosteus had a bear trap for jaws. The bottom jaw had a slicing edge and a cusp at the front that looks like a kind of fang, but there were no actual teeth. With such an incredible jaw structure, it's no surprise that Dunkleosteus was able to bite with around 21,000 pounds of force per square inch. This means it could chomp through bone and meat like nobody's business. It had roughly the same biting force as the giant crocodile, but that's not the only thing that made this carnivore so terrifying. It was also huge. The Dunkleosteus was the largest fish in the Devonian period at around 26 feet in length. It also wore armour. Not only were its jaws formed from armour plating, but it had a similar armour material around its skull, making it kind of like a battering ram. Number 4. The Real Leviathan in the oceans of today, killer whales work in teams to take down other whales and prey much larger than themselves. But 12 million years ago, there was a much larger predator feasting on the different whales of the ocean. It was a very real leviathan, properly named Leviathan Melvilli. Its name came from the biblical sea monster, the Leviathan, and the author of Moby Dick. It was a massive sperm whale that was only recently discovered near Peru. And while it was around the same size as a modern sperm whale, growing to be about 65 feet in length, it was actually much more dangerous. The sperm whale of today has no functioning teeth in its upper jaws, with only some smaller teeth in its lower jaws which it primarily uses for fighting. A typical sperm whale feeds using suction, relying on a giant rush of water to sweep fish directly into its mouth. However, the prehistoric leviathan had a mouth full of razor sharp teeth, with some of them being up to one foot in length. Rather than suck in its food, the leviathan would use its enormous teeth to bite and tear, just like modern killer whales do, only it had a skull three times bigger than a killer whale. The leviathan was definitely at the top of the food chain. Modern sperm whales tend to eat only squid, but researchers believe the leviathan used its massive teeth to chomp down on its own kind, eating any whale it could find. Interestingly enough, this giant whale lived at the same time as the mighty Megalodon. 12 million years ago, these two ferocious beasts would have been competing to see who could eat more medium-sized whales. Number 3. Elasmosaurus The Elasmosaurus was one of the biggest plesiosaurs that ever lived. We have a few different plesiosaurs on the list today, and the Elasmosaurus lands right at the top in terms of size. This massive creature was like a brontosaurus underwater. It grew to be around 50 feet in length, and had an incredibly long neck, just like a brontosaurus. 
Like other plesiosaurs, this marine reptile originated in the late Triassic period and kept on all the way until the big extinction. It could weigh upwards of 50 tons. The very first Elasmosaurus fossil was discovered just after the Civil War by a military doctor in Kansas. If you're wondering how such an enormous sea creature could have ended up in Kansas, which doesn't have a drop of water anywhere near it, keep in mind that millions of years ago the American West was completely covered with water all the way until the late Cretaceous period. What's really incredible about the Elasmosaurus is its very long neck, which contained 71 vertebrae. That's about 11 more than any other plesiosaur discovered. In terms of actual ferocity, you have to imagine that anything 50 feet in length swimming through the ocean with a ridiculously long neck and a mouthful of sharp teeth is going to be pretty scary. In fact, this is kind of like the original Loch Ness Monster. It looks exactly like any artist's rendering of the Loch Ness Monster, especially with its enormous neck sticking out of the water. It makes you wonder if there isn't somehow a prehistoric Elasmosaurus floating around in Scotland somewhere. Number 2. Titanoboa We have some pretty frightening snakes on Earth today. However, in the tropical lowlands of northern Colombia, about 60 miles away from the Caribbean coast, the remains of a prehistoric monster snake have been found. It's been called Titanoboa, and researchers believe it would have been around 40 feet in length. The area in which this fossil was found was once a swampy jungle full of incredible animals like giant turtles, massive crocodiles and lungfish three times the size of their modern Amazonian cousins. This ancient swamp would have been ruled by the giant Titanoboa serpent. It would have looked something like your typical boa constrictor, only it was way bigger and way thicker. Anacondas and boas can grow to be pretty long, but they aren't that thick. The Titanoboa was about as thick as a human person. Just imagine that for a second. A snake that has a body larger than you that could stretch along two city blocks and slither through the slime and shallows of the swamp. That is not a jungle I would ever want to venture inside of. According to the Smithsonian, Titanoboa was the largest snake to have ever lived on the planet. Number 1. Spinosaurus If you ask anyone about the most terrifying sea monsters ever, they talk about Plesiosaurs, the Megalodon and Kronosaurus. But nobody ever talks about the largest carnivorous dinosaur that's ever lived. No, it's not a fish or marine reptile, it's the terrifying Spinosaurus, bigger than the Tyrannosaurus and the Gigantosaurus. And although it didn't dive down to the bottom of the ocean or use flippers to propel itself in the water, it actually could swim. Keep in mind that most dinosaurs, just like the Spinosaurus, were basically giant lizards. In fact, Spinosaurus basically means spine lizard. According to a report by Live Science, new fossil evidence is pointing to the fact that Spinosaurus may have been the first dinosaur to swim and hunt in the water. Researchers are going as far as to say that the most fearsome creatures who have ever walked the earth spent most of its life in the water. This belief is based on the fact that Spinosaurus had short hind limbs kind of like early whales and other animals that spent significant time in the water. It had dense and compact bones just like penguins. And it had wide and flat feet that it could have used for paddling. Then there is its long and slender jaw which would have been perfect for catching fish. So, the next time you look at a T-Rex or a Spinosaurus, remember these giant lizards could swim and weren't afraid of slithering into the ocean to hunt for food. Which prehistoric beast would win in a fight against the Megalodon? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And let me know if you'd like to learn more about prehistoric creatures. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. See you soon for another fun video.